tech world is sort of still recovering after a late night last night after Google announced a brand new OS called Chrome OS. What does this mean for the future and uh, what's going on here? We bring in a senior writer from CNET News, Stephen Shanklin. Stephen, thanks for being with us. You bet. So this is a really odd situation as we were talking about before. Uh, you know, it's very odd that Google has this presence in, uh, they already have Android, and now there's another operating system coming out about Chrome OS. What do we know right now and kind of what's your take on the situation? Well, to start with, uh, there are some differences with Android. I think it's important to call out Chrome OS is based on Google's Chrome browser, and running beneath that is a Linux operating system. But really, the foundation where the applications are going to run on this is the web. So Google has been working already for a long time to try to make web applications more powerful, more useful, more common. And this is essentially an extension of that effort. So the big example is Docs for Google and for word processing and Gmail for email. They just want to do that, but even more so. So what's interesting is they decided they're going to actually wrap a brand around this operating system and uh, try to try to you know package it up that way instead of just letting people access things through their web browsers already. Yeah, so this is kind of... The reason this is different from Android is that Android actually uh, does have native applications. Google wants programs to run on Android phones and potentially other Android devices. So instead of Android just being a conduit to the web, they're actually native applications. So that so this would be, you, you'd have, a, say, a netbook, for example, and it would boot up to this Chrome OS. And essentially, you'd just be presented with a web browser and maybe some you know, limited things like a way to connect to Wi-Fi, a way to connect to wireless broadband. But that's really they're all, all there would be to this Chrome OS, right? Exactly. So this is mostly important as a way to get yourself to web applications. So I'm sure that uh, you know there's there would there be some hardware involved. You know, potentially, you could see uh, you know a webcam or various other things like that that are useful for online applications. But no, this is not uh, an operating system that com competes directly with Windows as a foundation for applications. Yeah, I think right, and right now a lot of people in you know more mainstream outlets like on CNBC I was watching earlier they're pitting this as a Google versus Microsoft thing. And now it, you know, we've, Google we've, kind of said, we've kind of said that you know this isn't they're not building native applications. It's not really a direct you know Windows versus Chrome OS thing. If anything, Android's probably a more apt comparison. Where do you see Microsoft fitting into this picture? It, it, this is aimed at Microsoft. Microsoft does have reason to be alarmed about this, uh, but as I say, mostly because it accelerates the web application uh, uh, future. So one of the things that, you know, one of these long-standing challengers to Windows has been Linux, and one of the reasons Linux has not actually uh, made any appreciable headway against Microsoft as a PC operating system is because you have to have so many applications for it. And it's really hard to match the breadth of applications that Windows has. What's different here is that Google is not trying to conquer Windows with another operating system that runs on the hardware with applications that run on that hardware. It's trying to it's trying to take on the operating system market with web-based applications. Do we know so this is this is a very different operating system challenge. The thing that Microsoft has going for it is Windows is you know reasonably powerful, obviously very common. There's a lot of software for it and they're growing in power and importance, but they are still pretty crude and pretty slow compared to applications running natively on your Windows machine. So do we know any details about this Chrome OS? We know that it's you know Chrome-based on top, you say, and there's this light Linux underneath. Are we assuming that this is going to be an open source project like Android is, or is this going to be you know closed, or do we know any of those sort of you know intimate details about this? We know some details. It will be an open source project. Uh, Google is working on it. And they have part apps, although they aren't saying who, but they say this will appear on netbooks in the second half of 2010, so sometime a year from now to a year and a half from now. So they clearly have some uh, you know, sizable work underway already. It's really exciting times. Like you say, we're not going to see it till next year. Um, you know, Parting shots, is there anything that you're really looking forward to out of this, or is it just we still don't know enough to really have any concrete ideas? Well, it's a very ambitious project. I think it's the latest of any number of illustrations that 
Ophir it is willing to take on the publishing industry with Google Books, to take on the entertainment industry with YouTube. It's willing to take on the telecommunications in industry with Google Voice. Uh, you know, obviously, it has no fear of even fairly large companies like Yahoo or Microsoft. I wonder who else uh, should be afraid of Google right now, since they uh, they have a solid cash flow with their existing core business. And uh, you know, I, I wonder who else is in their crosshairs. Yeah, definitely. It's it's. <laughs> I mean, this came out of left field. It'll be an interesting time to see over the next couple of years what happens with Google. Stephen Shanklin, Certainly. senior writer for CNET News. Thanks for being with us. I really appreciate it. Great insights. Uh, and that is it for this show. I'm Randall Bennett. We'll see you next time. Later.